Good morning. It is bright and early here in Changu, or at least bright and early, my standard. It is 8 a.m. And we are gonna start the day with some coffee. We're gonna get the coffee at BGS. A lot of people claim that it is apparently the best coffee in Changu. There it is. It's already busy. feeling way more energized now the coffee was so good if you're into coffee BGS is definitely a place to go also it's such a like typical Changu place everybody there is super tan but blonde and has tons of tattoos and like scrunchies I'm trying to show you my scrunchie yeah I just think in general Changu is a very trendy place if, and if you're not into that sort of stuff it can be slightly annoying. Some people say that Changu is like one of these places that you either love or hate and I guess that's true. Either you're into it and of course it can be a little funny when everyone is like so good looking and like wearing the same stuff, basically not the same stuff, but you know there is a certain style, certain aesthetic going on here. What was I even saying? Okay, now I forgot what I was saying. I got distracted. Okay, anyways, let's let's take my gym back and head to the gym. So Changu is definitely a very touristy town. It's not necessarily where you come if you want like 100% authentic experience. There are plenty of other places in Bali where you can go to if you want something more quiet and you basically don't. Why are you making so much noise? When you walk around Changu, sometimes you see more foreigners than locals at least in the central areas uh, or by the beach where a lot of tourists are but even though Changu is so touristy to be honest I still freaking love it I think it's freaking beautiful I love the lifestyle here but then on the other hand you know I do have a freaking scrunchie in my head so maybe I am the type I guess I am the type So I need to get to work soon, but before I do that, I also have to eat something because I am starving. I usually don't really eat breakfast, I just drink a lot of coffee and then I eat after my morning workout. Oh, just cut this island. Oh, this island. A little piece of paradise. I usually know what I want, at least when it comes to food. But today I really cannot decide if I want Indonesian or if I want a smoothie bowl. <laughs> By the way, I saw this like really funny meme. There's this Instagram page called Overheard in Changu and there was this meme or quotation, whatever you call it, um, saying something in the line of Hey guys, I'm just eating smoothie bowl, a traditional Balinese breakfast. And I thought it was really funny because it's like totally me and totally like everyone in Changu, but The funniest thing about this Instagram account overheard in Changu is that it's like funny and ironic and they're obviously like sort of like making fun of people here in a way but at the same time it's so true So after having the most cliche but also freaking delicious uh, Changu breakfast 
traditional Balinese breakfast, I should say. I'm gonna head home and start my work day. Stark? Did I say Stark instead of start? I'm gonna get to work. And if you're interested to like hear more about my work, I will link a video here where I kind of talk more about it, what I do here, and like how I manage to work from Bali. It is the next day, it's Friday morning. So since you saw me last time, I did not end up doing anything. I basically came home and we had a little urgent situation at work. So I end up working the whole day basically. Right now we're gonna head to the beach or we're gonna, we're, we, we as a family. Baby, why can't you sleep at night? Tell me lies, I just wanna know the truth. Do or die Is it me or is it you? Is it you? I honestly think that being able to come to a beach in the morning It's like one of the best things in life Like life doesn't get much better like whenever I come to the beach, I just feel so happy. So I know that in this video, I told you a lot about the fact that Changu is this very trendy destination with a lot of young people, super fit and fashionable and whole lots of hip cafes and all that. But with that being said, I also think it's really important to mention that it doesn't mean that you have to be that specific type of a person to come to Changu and enjoy it here. I honestly think that Changu is a place for everyone. Uh, yes, there is a part of this town that has this certain vibe, but it doesn't mean that if you personally don't enjoy meditation or like, you know, hipster cafes, that you cannot come to Changu and freaking love it. There is so much to do here. Amazing beaches. You can do all kinds of water sports, surfing. It's very chill. It's not like, you know, and even though like the trendy places are trendy, the vibes are still relaxed and chill. What I'm basically trying to say is that you don't need to feel like this pressure to do these like Instagrammable things here. There's still other things beside the beach, there are rice fields. I mean, the nature here is absolutely mind-blowing. And even though Ubud is known as the place with the best rice fields, the rice fields in Changu are still pretty incredible if you ask me. So yeah, I basically just wanted to emphasize that what you see on Instagram, that part of Changu is here, it's real, but it's not the whole picture. Okay, and now after I just told you that Changu is not all that cliche, let's continue the journey to get some um, avo toast or smoothie bowl. I don't know what I'm having today. <laughs> I mean, what can I do? Smoothie bowls are actually really good here. You know, the fruits just taste better here than back home. Also, one other thing is that if you are the type of person that enjoys freaking smoothie bowls and yoga sessions at the beach, don't worry too much about people who make fun of these things. Just be you, just be yourself, enjoy yourself. I feel like Changu is a good place to just be what you want to be and do what you want to do. And this is where we're heading, Zen Cafe. Look at this, this is so cute. This is a work-free table for those who want to eat and drink. A lot of people are actually working here. There's like a whole space up there where people are sitting and working. What I absolutely love about Zen Cafe is that their smoothie bowls are actually pretty big. I feel like most of the time I cannot get full if I just eat a smoothie bowl. But here, they're pretty decent size, which is great if you ask me. Oh, I literally almost fell. Oh, fuck. 
I mean, it's not like anything would happen to me if I would get wet, but I have my camera in my bag and I'm holding my phone, so. The waves in Bali can be so strong. In general, the current is very strong here. Anyways, what I wanted to say is that I am done consuming my delish Balinese breakfast and my camera unfortunately died, which is a little bit of a bummer, but on the other hand, it's good because I'm gonna be allowed to have a peaceful walk at the beach. Sometimes when I go for these beach walks, I purposely don't take my camera with me because if I have my camera, I'm gonna film. Even if I tell myself, don't film, I'm gonna film because I just simply love it so much. But then I guess, you know, obviously I'm less present and in the moment. So now I'm gonna enjoy my walk at the beach and get fun to